Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to let you know that all of the AdSense revenue that I would have generated from this video that you're watching, I am actually going to be donating um, in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. I will leave a link in the description box of where I will be donating and I'll share on my Instagram uh, after a week goes by what that number ends up coming to um, and how much we were able to contribute. It's hard knowing what you can do uh, in a time like this, um, but I'm hoping that this is just a small step that we can all kind of come together and, and do it together. So keep watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do you wanna come say hello? I'm gonna show everyone the scratch you have on your face. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to today, to today's video. Nova took a tumble yesterday. You can see her little nose is super red and all scratched up. Yesterday I was in the thrift store and Caleb was just hanging out with Nova in the car and um, they walked around a little bit and they were walking on the sidewalk and unfortunately she just face planted into the sidewalk. So she's rocking a bit of a owie. We just finished watching some morning cartoons. Where's Nova? Yeah. <gasps> there you are. <laughs> so like I said yesterday, I was at the thrift store. I was at Once Upon a Child, and that is just like a kid's um, thrift store, consignment store, secondhand, however you want to call it. And I haven't been there since for so long because of going on the trip and because of just the world, right? Um, so it was really nice to go back in. I ended up having to wait outside uh, because they were only letting like a certain amount of people in and it was raining. But when I finally got in, it was pretty good. It wasn't too crowded in there. I felt like I had a good amount of space to like look around and stuff. She's getting so wacky with this. Anyways, I thought I would just do a little haul for you guys. His little girl's clothes is just so cute and it's kind of fun. Um, but if you're not into hauls, feel free to skip to this timestamp uh, and get back to just what we're doing today. But if you are interested in the finds that I found, um, keep watching. So, found these little pair of shorts, which are so cute. Her sizing right now is 18 to 24 months, and some of that stuff would even be a little bit on the bigger side, uh, but I'd rather it be just like a little bit big than too small. So uh, yeah, some little shorts, which these will match a pair that I have too, so I think that'd be cute. Little summer dress with like watermelons. This was only like $2. I looked through everything and pretty much I have H&M, Old Navy, Zara, and Gap mostly. Some little biker shorts, just simple to go with like her t-shirts and stuff. This is a like sweater dress, kind of like a sweater material. It definitely looks like it'll be big right now, but it'll be perfect for like fall time, I think. These little overalls that are like a skirt. So cute. This one's really pretty. It's just this kind of like denim type material. Um, it's a dress with floral and these pretty little buttons on the back. I think this will be cute for some like family pictures or something. Another little dress that I love. It just has like this cross detail in the front and it's super cute. And this one's pretty much the same thing. They're both from Old Navy and they seem like the same design, um, but just different patterns. And I think they're both just really adorable. I love consignment for her clothes. It's just so exciting to like go in and be able to find so many good finds for such a good price. And a lot of the time they're in such great quality because kids only end up wearing clothes for such a short time. It's definitely my favorite way to shop for Nova and I just feel good about doing it also. Um, so this one's like a little denim romper which would be so cute for the warmer days. And then of course because we're in Canada we still need lots of sweaters. So this is just this cute little sweater with some nice buttons. And then another little hoodie floral print. This was from Old Navy. She's kind of growing out of some of her sweaters, so I wanted to pick up a couple. And a set, a pajama set. This is just from Carter's. This is likely going to be a little big, uh, but I mean it's pajamas, so that's all right. Found this adorable little tank top. It's almost like peplum style. And then this pretty little cardigan. It's nice to have like light sweaters too. 
This was originally from H&M. This one is just like a little tank top um, type blouse, really cute too. And then last is this button up like denim shirt, which was originally from Zara. And I think that this will be uh, really cute, especially when it gets a little cooler after yeah. summer. So that's my little thrift haul for Nova stuff. But these two are eating all of their snacks. Uh, basically Nova just lets a bunch fall on the ground so that Ellie can eat some. Sometimes I have to actually put Ellie like behind the gate so that Nova can actually get some snacks. We don't have a ton planned today. We are going to work on Caleb's Father's Day gift. I have like a craft that we're going to do. Some of it involves going outside. Um, I am going to tell him not to watch this video so he doesn't get spoilers, but I'll share with you what we're doing in case uh, it just sparks an idea for you guys. It's Caleb's second Father's Day. Last Father's Day, Nova was just a tiny little newborn. So it's fun this year that we are able to kind of get her um, included on making like a craft and a card and stuff. There was a pretty good smudge on the camera that whole time. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully you can still see me. So I basically just went to the dollar store. I go to Dollarama, but you could probably find uh, this kind of stuff at any dollar store. Got some paintbrushes, some paint. Um, we have a, just a card for him and I, got this little like, I don't know what you call it, container. Mom brain is happening right now, but you can see it. You know what I'm talking about. And we are going to paint it, decorate it, and then we're also gonna go on a little walk and hunt for rocks because Nova's a big all-time rock collector and we're gonna paint some rocks, let them dry, and then put them in here. So it'll be uh, her little Father's Day gift to him because rocks are very like special to her. So I figure this will be kind of a sweet little gift. And then he can just put whatever he wants in afterwards, of course, maybe like his watch or uh, whatever he wants. So yeah, that's our plan this morning. I have to get this little one dressed and then we'll head out on the walk to go find some rocks and then we'll do our painting. I just can't get over how sad I am about her little face. Like my mama heart is just so sad. She definitely doesn't seem phased by it and I'm hoping that it'll heal quickly. Let me know in the comments below if you have any like super tricks or super hacks on how to just like help that heal really well. So as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, there's just been like a lot of heaviness, especially this last week. And I have just been in a funk, just kind of, I guess just in a funk is how I can describe it best. I wanted to just take a second and ask you guys, how are you? Like, how are you doing? What's on your heart? Um, how are you feeling? How are you coping with the things that are going on? I would love to be able to just send some love and support your way. So feel free to leave a comment and just tell me how you're doing or if you're not comfortable with that, you can always send me a message on Instagram and I'd love, like I said, to be able to send you some love. The sun is shining today. Yesterday was a super rainy day, so I think that that's going to lift our spirits a bit more. Um, Nova loves to be outside as much as possible. Are you okay? <laughs> I always forget to bring this thing out and let it ride it. You ready? Do do. <laughs> you vlogging? Say hi guys. <laughs> Yeah, we're in the toddler stage for sure. <laughs> Little taste of real life for you. Dog just pooped on the floor. Nova is getting into everything right now and I'm trying to keep her away from the poop. Can you go this way? Turn around. March that way. Can you stay away from this? It's not nice, it's yucky. Yuckies. Wow, you're such a good helper. 
Thank you. <laughs> Good job. I was just having a quick little snack before we head out for our walk. Some grapes. Well, that definitely wasn't the smoothest of mornings. Uh, it kind of felt like we were swimming upstream pretty much the whole time. She just was having a hard time like handling her emotions as toddlers do. And so we're kind of edging near the whole like meltdown kind of stage. Like for example, she um, loves holding onto our car keys and anytime I try to like sneakily take them or like trade them with something or try to like reason with her, it's just not happening. And then of course that craft, I was like so excited to do it. Sure enough, she puts the paintbrush right in her mouth. No. And of course, like that's bound to happen. And brought her to the bath after and she put her like blue hands on the tub. And then uh, after I washed her all off, I was trying to get that off and it wasn't coming off. And I was like having a mini, mini freak out. Um, finally got it off. It's all good. I got off her skin too. Coconut oil really works um, for that. But then I was just super flustered. And then I looked at the time and we hadn't had lunch yet. So I just like basically just fed her some snacks because she was getting so tired and ready for a nap. And then put her down for a nap. And yeah, it's just been a bit of a morning. <laughs> The great thing about nap is like it's almost like a refresh button. She wakes up in a better mood. I have like a chance to reset. And I also just love rocking her to sleep and she's all like cuddly and it's just such a sweet moment. So now that that morning is behind us, <laughs> I'm basically sharing that with you because I think it's important to note that just because um, myself or other creators that you watch uh, aren't necessarily showing those moments all the time. It doesn't mean that they're not happening. Uh, I generally don't pick up the camera when she's having a hard time like handling emotions or if she's uh, kind of having a meltdown or something because I think that's like her private uh, time and I want to be really respectful being online. Like I really hold a lot of value in making sure that I am respecting herself as herself right now but also herself um, in the future I don't want her to look back on these videos and be embarrassed or shamed or 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 mad <laughs> we did them so that's really important to me that's why you'll never see you know like without clothes on or anything there's that but also just the fact that usually I'm too busy like 
handling the situation or trying to figure out what's wrong or help her or something to pick up the camera and film. So those are kind of the main reasons why you might not always see that here. Um, and I'm assuming with a lot of creators too, but it doesn't mean that it's not happening. I'm not trying to paint this like perfect picture that our lives are perfect because they're definitely not far from it. Like we are just super normal average people with our normal average problems but i think that there's like a bit of a line that can get blurry so i'm just trying to like navigate that but yeah i just wanted to be honest with you guys and let you know that we do have moments where i'm like anyways i just wanted to have that honest chat with you guys i have a ton of mess to clean up downstairs with the painting and everything and yeah, I'm just, I literally just need to reset and maybe make myself a second coffee of the day, which I never do. So that's how you know. I think we're going to just enjoy the rest of the afternoon, probably go outside because honestly, outside is where Nova loves to be. Um, and yeah, that's our plan. So I'm gonna end the vlog. I was planning on filming up until Kayla got home and we could like film together because I don't feel like he's been on the channel very much lately uh, it's just kind of there's just a lot going on in our lives right now but I'm just gonna call it <laughs> so hope you guys understand I hope you enjoyed today's video nonetheless and thank you guys so so much for watching and of course for supporting um, our little family so we'll see you in the next one